And now it's time to welcome our special guest to the show. It's Mr. Phil Jupiter. <laughs> Phil. Hey, hey. Hey. So, uh, Phil, this is the band. The band, this is Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Hello. Phil. Hello, Hello, Phil. Mm. And before we start, can I just say, um, I'm very glad you've got a beard. Just on a personal level, it's really nice to see you with a beard. I think that it's important that the Hussute gravitate together. I love Um, that sentence. Obviously not too close. No, no, I'll keep my distance. we like Velcro. (laughs) What do you want to do with the band? Have you done this sort of thing before with the band? The thing is, I sort of became a performer but a solo performer, because I have no musical skills whatsoever. I simply wasn't patient enough to learn an instrument and learn how to do songs properly. You've been in one of the best bands in the world. I was fortunate enough to spend a bit of time singing with the Blockheads, Ian Jury's backing band, yeah. yeah. Would you... I mean, we've got the band here. Not the Blockheads, but we've got a band here. <laughs> do you know any Blockheads, boys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The deserts of Sudan and the gardens of Japan. From Milan to Yucatan, every woman's every man. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me, hit me. Je t'adore, ich liebe dich. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me slowly. Hit me quick. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you. I mean, such an amazing lyric writer, Ian Jury. The bounce and the playfulness of the words is, is fantastic to sort of get your tonsils around. Beautiful mm. stuff. And it's nice you don't actually have to sing it. That's, that's what I... Yeah, yeah. You can, that's the thing is, he, he was a kind of Cockney Rex Harrison, wasn't he? <laughs> I think it's time to hear some of your own stuff, if that's all right. Because you started as Porky the Poet. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're yeah. still Porky the Poet. I, yeah, I've started doing it again sort of about five years ago. It's just a mate sort of coaxed me out of poetry retirement. Do they rhyme, the poems? Some do, some don't. I love it when they do. You like it when they do? Yeah, I really like it when they do. Well, OK, well, well set yourself ready for colossal disappointment. OK. <laughs> I'm ready. This poem is called They've All Grown Up in the Beano. The thing about that always struck me about the Beano was these characters, I'd read them and I was getting older and they weren't. And so I just, this fills in the blanks for you. I'm wondering what happened with them, really. It's very, very British, the Beano. So something pastoral. Can you do pastoral on the piano? A sort of choral. Yeah. They've all grown up in the Beano. Dennis the Menace has got pubic hair. <laughs> Biffo is well into anarchy now. He's more of a punk than a bear. Lord Snooty is a high court judge taking bribes through a Zurich bank. <laughs> Had a run in with the inland revenue when he sold Bunkton Castle to a Yank. <laughs> Grandpa is at last six foot under. Roger the Dodger is in the SPG. Now dodging charges for murder, but Lord Snooty will help him. You'll see. The three bears are on racks in Harrods because Hanky shot them at last. And Teacher was thrown out of Bash Street for being too drunk when in class. Minnie the Minx is a feminist now in London, North West 3. PC Plod rang Beano Town Council. Now the Bash Street dogs are in Battersea. Ball Boy changed his name to Rent Boy. Piccadilly was where he wound up, but Beano Town United are doing fine without him in the European Cup. <laughs> Babyface Finlayson's in South America with seven million quid in used bills. And the nibblers, they nibble no more because Porky called in rent to kill. <laughs> Billy Wiz eventually ran out of sulphate. <laughs> now he works for the DHSS. <laughs> And our hero, Ugly Plug, changed his name to Gary Bushel and got a job in the tabloid press. <laughs> they've all grown up in the Beano. What are we going to do? Now, they've all grown up in the Beano, just like me. 
and you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr Phil Jupiter! Thank you.